Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I'll be discussing a very important question from the classical mechanics. And I hope you all know about this concept or we can say about this trick because it's very much important and you can expect the questions based on this trick in your upcoming CSR net exam, gate exam, gist exam and other similar exams too. So you can understand the importance of the trick and the point I will be covering in this video today just by knowing about it that in the previous years of uh, like uh, these exams we are having the questions based on it and there are great chances you can expect the similar questions in your upcoming exams too so soon i will be taking a question from the previous years from the recent year exams okay and i'll be discussing that here and let's see how many of you will be able to solve that question on your own okay or even if you will not be familiar with the steps and the process to solve it i'll be discussing it exp and explaining it completely don't worry about that but before i'm going to proceed further i would like to tell you about the price hike which can take place up to 20 percent on 31st may okay on an academy subscription so if you want to start attending the live classes of well structured and well planned courses by the top educators on an academy then you can take the an academy plus or the iconic subscription and by using and by applying the referral code that's anjali arora or anjali a live as mentioned here on the screen you will be able to get the 10 percent discount in the total subscription amount also guys here we are having few more updates regarding the unacademy learning app so there we are going to have the free unit wise pyq test available on unacademy learning app for different streams so if you want to attempt them you can just check them out in the learning app and now as i have told you we are having the referral codes so whenever you will proceed further to take the subscription you can use and apply any one of the referral codes whether anjali arora as mentioned here on the screen or Anjali A Live as mentioned here on the screen by using and by applying any one of the referral codes you will be able to get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount one more thing guys what is the difference between the plus and the iconic subscription you can clearly observe it with this slide so you can have a look at this that what are the benefits you will be getting if you will take the plus subscription or what are the benefits you will be getting if you will be taking the iconic subscription so you can just have a look at this and you will be able to get the clear idea about it soon in upcoming days many new courses by the top educators will be starting on an academy so if you want to join the well structured and well planned courses and you don't want to miss them then you can take the an academy plus or the iconic subscription and start your preparation today under the guidance of top educators as all these courses will be helping you a lot to take your preparation to the next level also guys whenever you will proceed further to take the subscription use and apply any one of the referral codes whether anjali arora or anjali a live as mentioned here on the screen to get the 10 percent discount in the total subscription amount now let's continue the discussion and let me just give you the uh, like uh, concept regarding the question we will be considering here consider a particle consider a particle with total energy that's going to be e okay which is oscillating in a potential in a potential that is ux is equal to a mod x to the power n with a is greater than 0 and n greater than 0 in one dimension which one of the following i have even provided many other questions based on this concept in the previous videos but if anybody has missed the videos or is not getting the concept even right now i think this will be helping them to work on any such concept and to make a good command on it too gives the relation following gives the relation between the time period of oscillation that's t and the total energy e okay 
options are the first one is t is proportional to e to the power 1 by n minus 1 by 2 option b is t is proportional to e to the power 0 option c is t is proportional to e to the power n and option d is t is proportional to e to the power 1 by n now you can check it out if you can get the answer for this question and you know the process and if you don't know about it i'm going to tell you the steps too this is a x to the power mod mod x to the power n now what are the steps i will be taking here i want to get the time period dependency on energy get to know about it whenever you are having any such situation or the question given to you you can proceed this way the first step you will be taking is that you have to write the uh, like j j is the action angle variable which is simply pdq but the point is generalized momentum or the classically momentum expression is root 2m e minus v as per the trick you just have to take this part from here and that's why i'm telling you because you will be able to relate it easily and our main focus will be on finding the dependency on e so from here i will get just e to the power half if you want to write it completely you can even do that here you will consider let's say at x is equal to b point the potential energy is equal to total energy and then get the value of b from here that will be e upon a to the power 1 by n done so in this case e to the power 1 by n you will get from here which is e to the power half plus 1 by n that's the trick so as i'm telling you the steps even if you are finding it so quick quickly i'm explaining it i'm telling you so you can even recheck what we have done next thing time period is equal to delta j upon delta e you just have to differentiate it with respect to e you will be able to get that dependency on e as this minus 1 that is the differentiation and the coefficient whichever you will be there uh, like getting there that's okay because we just want the dependency on e so minus 1 will give us 1 by n minus half that's how we are getting 1 by n minus half which is option a which is the correct one and that's your right option too so that's how you can consider it guys and you can get your correct answer quickly and easily for any such type of question i hope you got the concept you got the trick and you will easily be able to work on it now in your like exams or you will be able to relate it easily with the other concepts too so this is how it gives you the right answer and i hope it's clear to everyone thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you and this was one of the important questions we had related to this concept thank you everyone for joining the session and for attending it till the end thank you